India has a very vibrant new space sector. So since about 2010, you saw a surge in this particular uh, first of all, it started as a conversation in a city called Bengaluru in India, which is the uh, core of India's information technology capability, not dissimilar to California or Silicon Valley. And since then, you have had startups. For example, you have a company called Bellatrix Aerospace, which is run by a very young uh, chief executive officer. And I interviewed them during my field work in India. And they are actually investing in developing uh, thermal propulsion capability and have signed a contract with the Indian Space Research Organization. You also have a new space uh, a company called Rebim that is investing in uh, the, the capability that I talked about, space-based solar power. The most important technology for space-based solar power to succeed is to be able to microwave a uh, beam of power, basically to beam it back to rectennas on Earth. So Rebeam is developing that particular capability. You also have Skyroot Aerospace for the first time articulating ambitions to develop a privately uh, developed space a rocket, which is called Vikram, uh, in collaboration with the Indian Space Organization. So you see a huge upsurge in new space commercial uh, sector in India, very similar to what happened in the United States in the 2000s.